Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to present an exercise of constructive geometry. The exercise says, let the triangle ABC, which is that beside AB is the double of the side BC, and the angle ABC is the double of the angle BAC. It's necessary to prove that the triangle ABC is a right triangle. As you may now try to solve this exercise, observe that the angle BAC cannot be greater or equal than 80 degrees. This is because the angle ABC is the double of the angle BAC, and because of the side angle inequality of a triangle, the angle BCA needs to be larger than the angle BAC. Thus, if the angle BAC was greater or equal than 80 degrees, the sum of the angles of this triangle Will be way larger than 360 degrees. That is just not possible. In a similar way, it is possible to justify that the angle ABC cannot be 90 degrees. So, if the triangle ABC is going to be a right triangle, the only possible angle for that would be the angle BCA. So also, suspecting that maybe you have already tried to solve this exercise, it is very common that one of the first ideas for proving this exercise is for considering an equilateral triangle constructing one of the heights of the triangle and after this, it is obtained a triangle with the characteristics that are necessary. Said a side that is the double, a side that is the double of another, and an angle that is the double of another, and this triangle would be a right, a right triangle because of the angle at the base. Nevertheless, this would only be one particular case for the general problem that we have. This is just one possible triangle of the many triangles that could have the property that this exercise is stated. So this is not a general proof. This is only a case. So taking that out of the way, uh, right now, if you want to keep it Trying this exercise, feel free to do so. And feel free to pause the video at this moment. Also, if you get any solution or want to share some comments, feel free to do that in the comments below. Uh, also, if you want to check a certain approach for solving this exercise, I continue watching the video. At this moment, it is going to be presented a certain solution for this exercise. So for studying the solution, uh, the first thing that is considered is naming the midpoint of the side AB, and then M be the midpoint of the side AB. So there is the point M, it is going to be the midpoint. Uh, because of the information that is given at the beginning of the problem, the side AB is the double of the side BC, so each of these halves are equal to the side BC. Okay, now similarly, it is useful to also use the information from the angle ABC, that is being that it is the double of the side BAC. So we cut it in half and that's just the bisector. So let B be the intersection of the bisector of the angle ABC and the side AC. So there is the bisector of the angle ABC and well, the point D as it has been defined. Now also because of the information that we have been given, the angle ABC is the double of the angle BAC. So each of these halves are equal to the angle BAC.
just right now to have all of the information that is going to be necessary for this solution, I join the points M and D. So we have that same. And now already due to the information that we have, the angles BAM or DAB are equal to the angle ABD. These are angles from one of the sides, from opposite sides of a triangle. So the triangle needs to be isosceles because these angles are equal. So the triangle ABD is isosceles with equal sides BA and DB. Those sides aren't going to be that important right now uh, because we have already done an exercise on the channel that says that the line joining the, the, vert, the vertice of an isosceles triangle and the midpoint of the opposite side is also a height. This was done using the side 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 uh, criterion of congruence. So the segment MD is head of the triangle. And because it is a height, uh, the angle that it goes with the base is a right angle. Now there is already all the information that is going to be necessary. Uh, so in order for the next step, it is important to focus on the triangles BDM and the triangles BCD. So from these triangles, uh, the side BD is common. And also the angle A ABD is equal to the angle DBC. And also, it is already known that the side BM is equal to the side BC. So we already have all the information for using the criterion of congruence uh, side angle side or SAS. And because of this, the triangles DBM and DBC are congruent. So everything matches with each. And from this already, the angle BCD is equal to the angle B and D. And it is already known that the angle B and D is a right angle, so the angle B, C, D is right angle, and that's the end of the proof. So thanks for watching. Let me know uh, what do you think about this video. Let me know if you got a similar solution or a different one.